Alright, let's dive into 5 open source applications that bring functionality and simplicity right at your fingertips. First up is Link Hub, which is a minimalist and practical link manager. And if you've ever been lost in a maze of bookmarks, this application is your way out. You create folders, name them and drop links inside to keep things organized. If you need to find a specific link, the search feature lets you look it up by title, which makes navigation super easy. But here is where it gets clever. This application automatically sorts your links based on how often you use them and whether they are pinned. It's like the application knows what you need before you do. And managing links, just tap once to copy, edit or open. No unnecessary steps. I also love how customizable it is. Color-coded folders, yes it has that. And you also get a pinned link widget which is a game changer for quick access. And let's not forget it is open source and ad free and it even comes with backup and restore options. And so if you are serious about managing your online resources, this application is the tool you didn't know you needed. Now let's talk about KP, a link management tool designed to clean up URLs. See, every time you copy or share a link, it is often loaded with tracking junk and unnecessary parameters. KP strips all that out, leaving you with a clean, straightforward URL. And here is how it works. When you tap share on any link and choose to share with KP, it gives you two options to copy the link as it is or copy a cleaned version. And that's it. It is such a simple concept, but the impact is huge if you care about privacy or just prefer tidy links. And it is quick to no extra tabs or complicated menus. And so if you've ever shared a messy 200 character URL, you appreciate what Clippy brings to the table. And now let's switch gears to music with Lotus, an open source music play application built with material you design and it really shows. This app looks as good as it feels to use, it supports pretty much every audio format you need, you name them. And what I love about this application is how easy it is to browse your library, you can flip through albums, artists and playlists easily, plus it has synchronized lyrics from LRC, LIB, which is a service that gathers lyrics from multiple sources and allows users to submit their own lyrics. So with it, your karaoke game just got a major upgrade. And if metadata management is your thing, Lotus pulls accurate information from Music Brains, which is like the encyclopedia of music. And the dynamic color palette adapts to your device's theme, making the whole experience feel cohesive and polished. It is one of those applications where form meets function perfectly, so go check it out. Let's talk about Rain, a weather application that is open source, ad free and actually enjoyable to use. It is clean, is straightforward and gives you all the data you need without overwhelming you. You can check the current weather, get hourly forecasts or see what the week looks like at a glance. It even lets you add multiple cities and so if you're a traveler or just like keeping tabs on different places, it's got you covered. Customization options also lets you switch between units and time formats and it supports multiple languages. And notifications, it is subtle, useful and you will worry less about battery drain. Rain does everything you need from a weather application without the bloat. Such a clean and minimal UI providing such service is proof that open source doesn't mean sacrificing design or usability. If building better habits feels like a struggle, check out Habits Builder. It is a very simple application in which you can log your daily habits and instantly see your progress. It's got nothing much going on, just clean, visual insights that actually help. And if you want to know which habits you've nailed the most or when you are most consistent, Habits Builder shows you all that with beautiful graphics that reveal your patterns at a glance. Plus, you can color code each habit. And privacy is all on the device. No cloud storage, no accounts, no data tracking. And so whether you are working on fitness goals, some daily routines or looking to improve on some simple habits, then you need to check out Habit Builder. Next, we have Tracker Control and this one is a must-have if you care about privacy. It shows you exactly how applications on your phone track your activity, which companies are behind it and what type of data they are collecting. And the kicker is you get to block the tracking. And what's clever is how it uses a local VPN to monitor traffic without sending any data outside your device. You don't need root access and it works right out of the box. And if you are tired of being followed around on the internet, tracker control is like having a personal privacy guard on your phone. And the best part is completely free and open source. Next up is Focus Launcher, a simple minimal launcher built to keep distractions at bay and your productivity front and center. On the home page, you can add your favorite applications and you can access your entire apps when you swipe left and you also get a search bar beneath it. Swipe right for your launcher settings and here you can switch themes, edit favorite applications and more. It's got this default crisp dark mode, very easy on the eyes, plus there is a lunar face display beneath the clock on the home page. 
which you can take away in the settings. And if you want a clean home screen with a handful of customization and no unnecessary frills, Focus Launcher keeps things refreshingly simple. It is open source and free and of course ad free. And so if a no-nonsense launcher is what you're after, then this one is worth a try. I'm so happy I came across this application. It is called My Mood. And it's basically a mood tracker that doesn't go overboard with options. It is simple, clean and to the point. So every day you get a fresh page where you can log your mood throughout the day using five facial emojis from sad to happy. And you can add events that impacted your mood and what time they happened. And so for example, I logged in this one that says, I'm not sure I can enjoy morning sunshine today because I started recording early. And I added this sad face emoji to it. It's like keeping a lightweight mood journal, but with a minimalist interface that makes tracking easy and quick. And it has calendar support, so you can visit a particular day and see overall moods. You can switch between light and dark themes. It also supports dynamic color theming. A great application for keeping tabs on your mental state. Next is Number Hub, a calculator that does way more than just basic math. It installs a calculator, but it's really an all-in-one tool. You've got trigonometric functions, fractional outputs, and a clipboard-friendly design for copying and sharing results. But there is more. Number Hub has a unit converter with over 500 options, a date calculator, and even a time zone converter. It is polished, ad-free, and open source. Honestly, this one application can replace a whole bunch of separate tools, and it looks great doing so. And finally, we have Score Counter. As exactly what it sounds like, it is an application to track points for any game you play. Forget pen and paper. And so whether you are playing a casual competition with friends, this application has you covered. And what makes it fun is it's got a built-in dice rolls and who goes first feature. And the interface is that simple. You open it up and you are tracking scores in seconds. And it works with any number of players, big or small scores. And of course, there are no ads just a lightweight, super handy scorekeeper. If you love more open source pack reviews like this, then I suggest you consider subscribing to the channel because that is what I do mostly. Check out more videos on the channel for more reviews and as always, thank you for watching.